Hi everyone, welcome back to my office and thanks for checking in. So today I want to spend a few moments talking about what is without question one of the most painful and difficult things in human life. It's also made more painful by the fact that we do it all the time. And that is, summed up in one word, advice. You know, the great French writer Rochefoucauld once said that if only people were as wise with themselves as they were with everyone else. Very smart words. You know, it's true. The easiest thing in life to do is to give advice. It's cheap and it's free. And one of the hardest things in life to do is to take advice because it often hits very close to home, to where we live. It reminds us that we are people with failings, that we aren't perfect, and there's all room for improvement in the people we are and in the things that we do. And yet there is a solution to all of this. In our Torah reading for this week, we hear that just before the Yom Kippur service, before Aaron the high priest was to ascend and give the sin offering on behalf of the people to, to forgive and secure God's forgiveness for them for the coming year, Aaron would have to give a sacrifice ba'ado uva'ad beto. He would first have to sacrifice something on behalf of himself that he couldn't begin to approach and ask forgiveness for the people unless he had sought forgiveness for the things that he had done wrong first. The most important lesson that we can find in life and how we deal with all people, whether it is in giving advice, doing business, or just being a friend, a husband, a wife, or a good parent, is to be humble, is to realize that we aren't perfect too, and that as often as we give advice to other people, it's always so wise and so smart to start off by saying to them, you know, I also need this advice for myself as well. As our tradition says, Al tadun chavercha al shetagia bim kamo, that you should never judge another person until you find yourself in their shoes. Humility and compassion should always come before judgment. Shabbat Shalom.